What are adjacent angles? That's what we'll be going over in today's Wrath of Math lesson. And right here, we have our definition. Two angles are adjacent if they have a common vertex, a common side, and share no interior points. So let's check out an example of adjacent angles, and then we'll look at some non-examples. What are two adjacent angles in this diagram? Well, notice that angle AVB and angle CVB have a common vertex of V. Additionally, angle AVB and angle CVB have a common side of VB. And then lastly, do these two angles share any interior points? No, they do not. Angle AVB's interior points are all over here, and angle CVB's interior points are all over here so they do not share any interior points. And therefore, we can say that angle AVB is adjacent to angle CVB. Again, angle AVB is adjacent to angle CVB. They have a common vertex, a common side, and no common interior points. And quickly, before we move on, let me point out one other thing. Since angle AVB is adjacent to angle CVB, we can add up their measures to get the measure of the bigger angle that they create together. So the measure of the big angle created by two adjacent angles is equal to the sum of the measures of the adjacent angles. Now to clarify this definition more, let's check out some non-examples. Is angle ABC adjacent to angle DEF? Well, no, certainly not, because they don't have a common vertex, and they don't have a common side. So those two angles are not adjacent. Now what about over here? Is angle GHJ adjacent to angle KJI? Depending on how you define the side of an angle, it appears that they might have a common side, but they do not have a common vertex. Angle GHI has a vertex of H, and angle KJI has a vertex of J. So these two angles, even though they might have a common side, depending on how you define the side of an angle, and they share no interior points, they're not adjacent angles because they don't share a vertex. All right, let's check out two more non-examples. Is angle LPM adjacent to angle NPO? They do share a common vertex of P, and they share no interior points. However, notice that they do not share any side, so these two angles are not adjacent. And then moving over to this diagram, is angle RQT adjacent to angle SQT? We see that they share a vertex of Q, and they share a side of QT. However, even these angles are not adjacent because they overlap, they share some interior points. All of this space here is in the interior of angle RQT, and it's in the interior of angle SQT. So since they share interior points, these angles are not adjacent. And now let's take one more look at an example of angles that are adjacent. In this diagram here, angle ABC is adjacent to what angle? Well, hopefully you can see angle ABC is adjacent to angle CBD. Angle ABC is adjacent to angle CBD. They share a vertex of B, they share a side of BC, and they share no interior points. Additionally, if the measure of angle ABC was, say, 50 degrees, and the measure of angle CBD was, say, 130 degrees, then we could add these measures together to get the measure of the larger angle, ABD, and the measure of that angle would be 50 plus 130, which is 180 degrees. So again, adjacent angles create a larger angle, and you can find the measure of the larger angle by adding up the measures of the adjacent angles. Now, here's an example to try on your own. We've got a diagram here with a few angles. Try to find three pairs of adjacent angles in this diagram. Let me know the pairs of adjacent angles that you find down in the comments, and I'll leave the solution in the description. 
So I hope this video helped you understand what adjacent angles are. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Link to his music in the description. I wanted to see